Mike Beller, if you don't mind leaving us. Ma'am, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, so under announcements and presentations, we have nothing. Under um, staff action items, we have approval of minutes A for July 14, 2022. Uh, Madam Mayor Pro Tem, I make a motion to approve the minutes of the City Council public hearing and work session from July 14, 2022, 6 p.m. as presented. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? That passes. Item uh, B, under approval of minutes of City Council regular meeting for July 19, 2022. I make a motion to approve the minutes of the City Council regular meeting for July 19, 2022, 6 p.m. as presented. Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Uh, everybody in favor? Thank you. Yeah, that's you go. <laughs> confidence. Um, under City Manager, we have item number 13547, Marta Station Mural. City manager. City manager. You can vote on this one. Oh, we can vote on this one. We've got those seconds. Well, uh, okay. Yep. I will. I will. Make motion to authorize the mayor to sign a contract with Artis Lawrence Stumberg for installation of a mural at Chaley Martha Station and to sign a contract with Martha for cost sharing for the public art project. No discussion. All in favor. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, okay, item number two, retirement. Yes. Oh, sorry. This is this is one that was not on the agenda on Thursday night. So just wanted to go ahead and give you guys an understanding of what it is. It's on the agenda for this one. It just wasn't discussed on on Thursday. So just wanted to. Uh, announce that um, this is in, in regard to Assistant Chief Mike Beller's retirement um, and to thank him for his 25 years of service. Motion to congratulate Assistant Chief Michael Beller on his upcoming retirement and thank him for his 25 years of service to the city and to authorize the city manager to execute approved documents. Discussion? All in favor? That passes unanimously. Item number three, temporary agreement. So this is another one that was not on the agenda on Thursday. Um, this is an agreement, a temporary agreement with Airport Road LLC pertaining to occupation tax and zoning matters. Motion to authorize the city manager to execute the agreement with Airport Road LLC to tempor temporarily resolve certain zoning and occupational tax issues presently in conflict between the parties. Second. No discussion, I'm assuming. All in favor? Oh. <laughs> that passes unanimously. Wake up. Three. Wake up, everybody. <laughs> okay, so under development department, we have PZ 2022-1009 Chambly Plaza signed variants. Motion to approve with the following condition. The development shall be constructed in substantial conformity with the application for the proposed project. Number five, 
After installation and programming, the display output will be reviewed by the planning department to evaluate output levels for potential further revision to the output limits. And that is all. Second. Second. Resolution to amend the future development map in the comprehensive plan. I'd like to make a motion to approve a uh, resolution to amend the future land use map for uh, zoning for the brain <laughs> surprise. Uh, for the, to amend the future land use map in the comprehensive plan as presented by staff. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? That passes unanimously. Um, under police department, renewal of the speed detection permit. Motion to authorize the mayor to sign into the letter requesting the Department of Public Safety to renew the police department speed detection permit, which expires on December 31st, 2022. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Passes unanimously. Item number two, budget amendment. Motion to approve the budget amendment resolution as submitted. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Unanimously. Number three, surveillance camera contract. Motion to approve the budget amendment. Whoops, got that wrong. Motion to approve the contract with Sincera for 12 solar power surveillance cameras. Second. Any discussion? Okay, all in favor? Passes unanimously. We have nothing under parks and rec finance. Under public works, we have general service agreement for traffic signal maintenance. Motion to authorize the mayor to approve the general service agreement for traffic signal maintenance with Sunbelt Traffic LLC. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Pass it unanimously. Nothing under economic development, community engagement. Do we have any boards, authorities, or committees that would like to come up and talk to us? No announcements. Okay, under city attorney, we have a uh, first read of or an ordinance TA 202204, Chapter 18 Amendment for Vacant Property Registry. A motion to allow the city attorney to read Patty Dolan. <coughs> Second. All in favor? Okay. Um, be it ordained, it's hereby ordained by the mayor and city council of the city of Chambly that the provisions of 18 buildings Second reading of ordinance, we have number one massage or spa establishment. Is ordinance. Your microphone turned off? Can I don't talk about that? You're not yours. To the folks watching the film. Item number one under second reading massage or spa establishment ordinance amendment. This is an amendment to amend the code of ordinance for the city of Chambly, chapter 22, article 8, massage and spa. 
establishments and for all other lawful purposes. Because this is amending an existing ordinance, I will read the amendment section 22301 definition that removed the definition of the city clerk and added a definition or added a, yeah, a definition for finance director. And throughout the ordinance where the city clerk was previously mentioned, it now references the finance director. <clears throat> the uh, definition section um, largely remained the same. The definition for renewal application has been amended. Um, an application for a massage spa establishment license that is filed for an establishment that is licensed under this article at the time of filing and that is filed on or before November 1st. Section 22304, massage spa establishment license required in application. It sets forth the uh, requirements for um, the application. It is amended to state that there will be no more than 12 instead of 22 mas massage spa establishment licenses in effect in the city at a time with certain exceptions. Uh, the background section has been amended to add that an individual who is engaged in, a, in operating a massage establishment or a spa establishment who also holds a state massage therapy license is exempt from the criminal background check and then sets forth specific requirements for that background check. Subsections um, 1 through 16 set forth the requirements um, for the application and what must be included. Subsection um, D has been amended to state that the um, information provided by an applicant in connection with the license will not be disclosed by the finance director except as required by law or court order. Um, subsection E, issuance of a license. The, is the license is now issued by the finance director instead of the city clerk. Part 3, section 22, or I'm sorry, before that, subsection 8 of the, says when an H, when a notice of decision to deny or revoke a massage spa establishment license has been issued, no person may apply for or be issued a massage spa establishment license for the location until such notice has been withdrawn or if denial or revocation has become effective until 12 months after the effective date of the denial or revocation. Now section 22305, the regulatory fee and expiration. <clears throat> Subsection B has been amended um, to state that any application that's filed on November 2nd through December 31 shall be treated as an initial application and the applicant shall pay a late charge of 20%. Section 22306 requires employee work permits and the procedures for applying for that work. Section 22307, General Operating Provisions. Those are set forth um, A through H. A new provision has been added. Um, no massage, it's subsection D, no massage establishment or spa establishment shall allow any person required to have a spa massage establishment work permit pursuant to this article to perform any service on the premises unless unless such person has the work permit on the establishment premises. Licensees and all managers of any massage or spa establishment are required by this article to inspect and verify that each person who must have a permit has one. Section 22308 deals with inspections and sets forth that the finance director, chief of police, or designee can inspect. Section 22309, revocation of license of permit. And then 
and sets forth specific circumstances in which they can be revoked, um, including two new ones, the license or work permit holder has violated section 22307D, or the licensee has violated section 307C. Section 22310, hearing, license denial, revocation, and appeal, um, and sets forth the provisions for a hearing if there has been a license denial revocation. Um, the, under the procedure, the hearing officer's decision shall be final and the decision shall advise the losing party of the right to seek review of the hearing officer's decision in a court of competent jurisdiction by writ of cert. Um, otherwise, this section has largely remained the same with the exception that finance director has been exchanged for city clerk. Second reading, and it does require a vote. It's a motion, please. It's a small establishment, correct? Yes. <laughs> motion to take a vote on the uh, second reading of the small establishment ordinance amendment as read. amendment to the UDO uh, general use regulations. TA 2205 table of permitted uses ordinance amendments. It is hereby ordained by the mayor and city council to amend the UDO tobacco product shop use 2.27 to update allowed zoning districts by removing from VR, NC1, NC2, VC, TOD, and MU-VC, private bus station 4.11 to update allowed zoning districts by removing from permissible uses, staffing agency section 5.29 to update allowed zoning ordinances, I'm sorry, zoning districts by removing from MUVC and adding it to one. That's all. It's also a second read. Motion to approve the text amendment to the, let me back up a little bit. Motion to approve the text amendment to the UDO chapter 240 general of use regulations. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? That passes unanimously. Item number three, second reading. Um, PZ 2022-993, Chamber Townhomes and Mixed Use, the FLU, Future Land Use Map, Rezone, BCI. To change the zoning classification of the following parcels located in Shambly, Georgia, from industrial transitional to village residential, DeKalb County Parcel ID 18-278-03-060, also known as 5007 New Peachtree Road, Shambly, Georgia. 18-278-03-121, also known as 1100 VJ Drive, Shambly, Georgia. And, that's, and that such changes be entered on the official zoning map within 30 days after this amendment is approved and adopted by the Mayor and City Council. On and that's all. This is a second read. Based on the analysis of zoning application PZ 2022-933 for 5007 New Beach Tree Road and 11 criteria found in chapters 280 and chapter 300 of the Unified Development Ordinance. I make a motion to approve a future land use map amendment for mixed use to medium density residential to approve a rezoning from industrial transitional to village residential, to approve development of community impact and following four variances and three waivers. I believe we can 
numbers if you want. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, variance one uh, for section 240 or 13, variance two to section 230-6D, variance three from section 240-13, variance four from section 240-13, uh, waiver one from section 350-2C, waiver two from section 230-26, Waiver three from section 230-26A, and also with the following conditions. The development shall be constructed in substantial conformity with Exhibit A, site plans and architectural elevations, dated uh, received June 15, 2022, and Exhibit B, landscape and hardscape spot elevation, dated received June 15, 2022, with revisions required by conditions of approval as reviewed and approved by the Planning and Development Director, where Exhibit A and B conflict, Exhibit B shall govern. Two, a landscape island design as submitted to the city on July 12, 2022 will be modified if it does not require further widening of the roadway. To include a tree and living ground cover shall be installed to interrupt long straight roadway views on the two internal east-west streets within the subdivision. Trees shall be planted to the tree planting standards in the UDL. A crosswalk shall be installed on one side of the island in locations that do not interfere with access to residential driveways. Three, decorative occupiable paver, paver patios shall be provided at the front of each of the townhouse units facing the amenity courtyard areas and trees shall be planted in front of the alternating units in that area. Four, along the west property line, decorative metal fencing shall be installed, same material used at this main entry in place of wooden privacy fence to provide transparency. <coughs> Five, the two buildings along the new Peachtree Road frontage shall consist of leasable and non-residential uses only, flat roofs, four-sided architecture with accessory mechanical systems screened from view from the public right-of-way and adjacent properties, and shall include grease traps and bent pipes at the time of initial construction to accommodate restaurant use. Six, at least one of the two leasable non-residential buildings along the new Peachtree Road frontage shall be constructed with occupiable rooftops and shall incorporate active rooftop uses such as rooftop dining. Seven, all stormwater management and detention equipment and facilities shall be installed underground unless not feasible based on floodplain, local, state, and federal regulatory requirements, including compensatory storage, hydrologic, or hydraulic analysis as verified by the city engineer. Eight, each residential lot shall have a minimum lot size of 1,600 square feet per section 240-13B1G of the Unified Development Ordinance, and all lots shall be individually platted. Nine, each townhouse shall, unit shall be sold in fee simple and be served by a separate utility meter. 10, a mandatory homeowners association shall be organized with covenants recorded in superior court that requires all homeowners to bear the cost of maintaining all common areas, including all streets, structures, and landscaping on the common property. 11, the total square footage of non-residential commercial uses shall be, um, shall be a minimum of 4,000 square feet as shown in exhibit A. In addition, a minimum of 1,000 square feet of occupiable rooftops with activated uses such as dining will be added to the commercial buildings. Ground level patio space does not count toward the total square footage of commercial uses. 12, the leasable non-residential buildings shall be limited to the following uses to meet the local neighborhood scale needs of the current and future residents of the proposed town home site and of the adjacent neighborhoods. One, sales or rental of goods. Two, grocery stores. Three, restaurants. Four, brew pubs. Five, general office. Six, medical office. Seven, any other services complementary to the surrounding residential uses as determined by the planning and development director. Thirteen, all retaining wall heights shall be consistent with those shown in Exhibit B. Applicants shall tier, tier walls that are over the maximum allowed wall height that are directly adjacent to any required buffers in a manner so as that no single tier exceeds the maximum allowed wall height and that adequate space for landscaping be provided in each tier. 14, a land development permit shall only be issued for the development townhouse portion of the site if it also includes the development of the leasable non-residential portion. Prior to the issuance of certificate of occupancy of the first townhome unit or clubhouse, building permits for all leasable non-residential buildings shall be issued and construction shall have begun. The leasable non-residential buildings shall receive exclusive interior tenant improvements, a certificate of occupancy or certificate, sorry, a certificate of completion or certificate of occupancy prior to completion of 50% of the townhome units. Townhouse completion means issuance of a certificate of occupancy. Second. Do I have a motion and a second? 
as well as read by Kilmer. And um, so, on, uh, any discussion. discussion? Sorry. Any discussion? All in favor? That passes unanimously. Good job, guys. All right, so under mayor and council items, we have no nothing, nada. Under citizen comments, this is our favorite thing. Anybody want to come up and talk to us? Are you saying? You like it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> give his name. <laughs> okay, so we have no citizen comments tonight. We have no executive session. Correct. We are adjourned. That's a good that was a good one. That was good.